Yo yo. <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah. Hey guys, so I might have to start this video with we oui, we oui, we. Oui. We are going to Paris, which is crazy. <laughs> Uh, we have a show in Paris. Mathieu and I have to go to Paris. Dominique is filming. She is joining too. It's crazy. We have done some other really cool shows, but we have to show that we do music and we got asked to do it for the Long Jeans Paris Eiffel Jumping. So that will mean that there is this whole show, the show Jumping, in front of the Eiffel Tower. In, in Tower. <laughs> Sorry, I was just saying the Eiffel Tower in a very strange Dutch word with an English accent. Uh, that means that there's like this big competition in front of the Eiffel Tower and we will have to do a show there. And it's very cool and we have practiced a lot, but the thing is with Macho and me also, you never know what you're going to get. So he might do really well, he might also do his own thing. But you're all going to see it. I'm just going to pack still. Macho, wait, we go to Macho really quick. Uh, I'm really, really looking forward to it, and it's really cool, and we're just gonna have a great time. <laughs> hey, March! Hello, good morning, good morning, good morning. And we are just gonna go soon, and it's nice and cool still, so it's good for the travel. And then we're gonna get there. It's now Wednesday, and the show is on Friday, so we have enough time to get there for him to chill. And hopefully prepare ourselves to do a really cool show. So I'm gonna finish packing up, then we're gonna leave, and then it's on the way to Paris. We are nearing Paris. We have 34 minutes left to go. I have to be honest, like I'm usually okay driving, but it is a bit I don't know what to expect driving into Paris, like it's at the Eiffel Tower, so I don't know how it's gonna be to go with the horses. I'm just very happy we don't have this huge horse truck. Um, it's quite busy, so we're definitely getting closer. And yeah, let's just um, be a responsible adult <laughs> and drive like a pro, I guess. It's very different than in the Netherlands, that's for sure. Yeah, but Macho is doing amazing. Macho is really good, he's the best. All right, we're really nearing the center now. Oh my god, is Bonjour. that the Eiffel Tower? Ah, it might be the Eiffel Tower. Is it? I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm also not sure. I think so. Yeah, it is. Just didn't expect with me and my Shetlands they knew to be driving here. Crazy, for three kilometers we have to drive 20 minutes still. Crazy. So we are about to go underneath the Eiffel Tower. It's pretty cool, no? Very. <laughs> Oh my god, we have arrived! We have found it a one, one time. time! So we're lucky, now we have to wait here, it's very busy. And then they're gonna open up that little gate over there, I guess. Um, I'm crazy. so proud of you, you did so well. We did it all together. It's behind here. There's more horse trucks coming in. I think the stables are here. Yeah. Here are the tents. Underneath the trees, which will be nice for That's a bit nice. of shit. And there are a lot of horse trucks unloading there. But yes, it is no. The first fans are waiting here next to the truck. Can I do a photo with you? Of course. How are you? So funny. It's nice and calm, and we get it. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's happy, he's fit. We're going for a little bit of a stretch, getting to know the venue a little bit and for him to just walk after such a long trip. It's nice and calm, but I want to show you one other thing. When we turn around, here is the famous building, the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> it's crazy. And it's very pretty here and over there, it's the warm up and then there's the main arena. And here are some of the stables. My stables are next to the ones from Alizé. 
good boy. And we're just gonna go for a nice walk, a bit of a grace. And then we're gonna unpack all of our stuff. And then uh, hopefully we'll all be gay. Uh, all be gay. Hopefully we'll all be okay. <laughs> so we will be entering through here. Crazy. Huh, we're sweating. <laughs> but everything is done. We will give you a tour later about how, what everything looks like, how he's doing. Macho was already sleeping, he's eating, he's drinking. So that's all good. <laughs> we need to um, get all of our stuff to the hotel now. So that's our next job. I'm gonna shower and then we'll be back to take care of Macho. And I think tomorrow we might give a proper tour when everything is settled in. So time for dinner, the first night. Treat ourselves if you will. Here are the stables. And there is the Eiffel Tower. Here's the park. So everybody that is not like involved with the event of course they're all very curious what's going on so everybody's taking a peek but um yeah so it's all behind there so the new sand it's like the beach has been done by macho look how nice the dominic looks very cute hey, much. Oh, i'm so proud of you i love you so much yeah macho is <laughs> chilling <laughs> you sneeze we're not <laughs> uh, much, yeah and we took care of him and now Dominique had this great idea that she wanted to go into or on the highest part of the Eiffel Tower. I think by the end of this video nobody can see it anymore. <laughs> Busy. So we decided to go down by the stairs, which first might have seemed like a crazy idea, but it's actually a pretty cool place. Walking back the first night, some nice music. It's strange, I think Macho is in this area. It is Thursday, we have survived the first day. This morning it was really rainy. The weather is not so good, but it doesn't matter because it could have been like this the whole week and it's only like this today. Wow. Macho is enjoying a nice meal. We are enjoying the rain sounds. <laughs> So we didn't do that much, we just chilled with Macho, walked him a bit. Um, but now finally the sun is back. As you can hear, Macho has a new neighbor. It's not really settled in yet. Uh, Macho is doing good. It's now just past 7 p.m. and we're gonna do our first practice round very soon. So I'm very curious to see how that's gonna go because then I can kind of see how he's feeling the arena, uh, if he's gonna be focused on me. So far he's been quite good. But we're gonna just do some practice round and then Tomorrow I will give you a bit of a tour and then it's time for the fresh show. It's slowly starting and they're doing the little warm up or like kind of checking the arena. Later we have the show. Dominique can't stop herself with film and Kim has arrived. Hello. <laughs> this was the rehearsal, this was the try, <laughs> try out time. And you can see we're in the big arena. Machi did quite well, he had a few little hiccups, but that's why we're practicing. So he can see the arena because he is new here, he's never like been here. So he needs to see it out and then could definitely be way worse. So we're just gonna make space, Alize needs to go in, but I'm, uh, I'm very proud of him.
Then it was time again for Macho to stretch his legs, have some fun on his own. And you can see he was feeling really fit and he was having a great time. Then Alize and I decided to film a fun reel about what we are doing in Paris versus what people might think we are doing in Paris. I have it on my social media, so if you want to check out the video, it is on my Instagram and TikTok. Then Matt also arrived, so he flew in, which was very sweet and exciting. Then it was a warm day, so we were chilling with Macho and it's almost showtime. We are all chilling and everybody's kind of suffering in this heat, but in a very positive way because we all like it and we're enjoying it. But it is quite warm. Oh, he's... We are two hours before the first show is going to start. I'm here, I'm sweating, my pits are wet. <laughs> His pits are wet, Macho is going for one more grace. And then we have two hours, so he's gonna graze and walk a little bit. Then it's time to get ready. Am I nervous? I don't know yet. I think I'm numb <laughs> and a little bit nervous, but I'm also excited. So it's quite busy um, and everything looks really nice. And now we're just gonna have to hope everything will be okay. But we're gonna trust onto our connection, friendship, anything. And let's hope I won't regret it. Oh, you'll be fine. Yeah, yeah I'm not worried. Look, I know who I have. I know who I have to ask. Are you kidding? Oh, it's gonna be fine. great. <laughs> yeah. It's so funny, actually. There's all these big horses, but I think most of them have never seen a pony or a Shetland. So when I see Macho, one was almost loose before, because they just shocked. Maybe they're worried they're also gonna shrink. I don't know. Some more grazing, and then uh, time to. It is Saturday now. Yesterday we had the show. I first wanted to do a little bit of a tour before it. He's also here. Hi. <laughs> uh, I wanted to do a bit of a tour, but we just really wanted to focus on the show. So this yeah. is the last day. Tonight we have an other show. Yesterday was quite well, I think. Yeah. Masha really could good. be a little bit sharper. I think he's a little bit tired and it's very warm here. So he's just a bit yeah. more easy, but he stayed with me. He did everything. So I'm very But we've also of kind of been going back and forth thinking, okay, it's a little bit hot. It was a really long travel. Um, these are things that maybe are like playing into it, why it's like yeah. more chill. But he is feeling happy and he is uh, healthy and okay because he's yeah, yeah, yeah. outside and stable, he's all good and he's drinking well, which is very important. So I just wanted to do a little bit of a tour for how we have our setup here. Uh, It'll be a quick tour. Yeah, it's very cute because here is Macho. In the and he is next to the horses from Alize. Hey, Mach. He has a lot of straw. Hey. Oh, good boy. He's getting a lots of food and we're making the food extra wet so he is getting a lot of water which is always very good. And then normally we have a tag box and extra stable um, but we were lucky enough that we could park the truck next to the stable so we made a little bit of a tag room in here. It's one of my favorite things. Do you want to see my crib? Yeah. I mean, I, I mean, it's my truck, so but I guess it's your truck. It's our. No, it's our truck. No, I mean, I'm familiar with the truck, but no. Okay. Anyways, so what we do during the day is open these up. The crib is not oh. clean, huh? Yeah, it was very clean, but today we don't have the hotel anymore. So because we have to drive back in the middle of the night after the show because of another event, so it's a bit tricky. So and there's already suitcases. Don't mind these. So let's go in. Can you believe all this stuff is for one Shetland? Three days, one Shetland, and this is what's happening. So here we have a little bit of a hanger situation, some bottles, stuff. And if we close it, we have some more stuff here. Then here we have some of the food in the back, the massage rugs, Evil products, the brushes, and just some space to get changed. <laughs> so 
now I'm like this, but tonight of course we need to go in the show outfit. So I'm really curious to how tonight's gonna go, but the event is amazing, the organization is really really good. It looks very pretty, Matt has been here already many times, for me it's the first time, but I think it's a nice. A veteran, if you will, a yes. veteran. <laughs> I think it's good if we go around a little bit on the venue and give you a bit of an idea for what it looks like. So, since you are a veteran... I'm a veteran. I'm, yes. I'm bringing you into my territory now. Does it look the same as it used to before as well or not? Um, I believe the location is actually a tiny bit different, but it's all pretty much the same. Well, the, the nice thing about this venue, it's quite compact and small. So, like, we're going through the warm-up arena now, and the shopping village is attached, and the main arena is kind of at the heart of everything. So, you're only, like, a couple of steps away from whatever you might need, which I really like. Yeah. And but it's your first time, so what's your first impression? Because you're, you're taking it all in for the very first time. Yes, actually when you were talking I was already looking around. But yeah. I think it's such a cool show because we've been to different kind of shows, but this show is just amazing. Of course because the Eiffel Tower, I just feel like it's like a green screen you're looking at. Yeah. But what I also like is that this show is very busy. Um, and you have still so many shopping areas. What's actually really fun is that the crowds are like insane. There were so many people that came up to us already from like Australia. And from everywhere. From all different places. Australia, Poland. Yeah. And South Africa. Yeah. And it's in the heart of Paris. So the entry is free. So everyone can just kind of come in, have a look around. That's why you're seeing so many people around here as well. But look, there's so many shops, which is always nice. But then with the shops, I mean, there's now a big hatch. But here you have this. Eiffel Tower again. <laughs> Just keep looking strange. But one more thing with the show, and it will be tonight as well. I will have a spotlight. And oh, last yeah. night the Eiffel Tower was turned off. I don't know why, but we told the people, like, why is it not nice if it turns on? We told the people of France to turn the Eiffel <laughs> Tower on. So you hear us? Yeah, so Eiffel Tower on. So hopefully tonight will be on. And there was a yeah. beautiful sunset around the whole Eiffel Tower. So I think this is definitely one of the coolest shows. For yeah. me, it feels like I'm doing the Olympics, but then in the, the show is what I'm doing. Yeah. But let's go past a few shops and see what they have. Yeah. Everyone thinks this statue is really cool, but I think it's super creepy. Like, look at the eyes of the horse and the eyes of the rider. The rider looks almost like he's been burnt. No shade. No shade. Oh. It's very busy. No shade to Zé Vasco Celos or whoever, but it's not, it's not my style, I think. But really? I think it's pretty cool. And it looks like almost like what is happening then, uh, show jumping. We're not having something like this at the house. That's okay. not stuff that's happening. Let's go to another shop then. Yeah, I want to do like a little bit of light shopping, so I think we're gonna go over... Uh, shopping again? Well, I just want to look at least. There's like a store I saw that's really nice, so I want to go... I want to go have a look. You always do shopping. Yeah. Shop. You know what I like about it here as well? It's just ventilator. Maybe it's something in the water Or maybe we just hit the end of the road Right now it doesn't even matter It's too late not to let it go yeah, don't, don't touch it. Oh my god, touch it. But something else from this painter. Look, the French bulldog. Should have brought my girls. Oh, I really missed them. They're at home, they're doing good. But I can't wait to see them again. We're just inside the VIP. There's a big class happening right now. It's not the main class of the evening. That one's starting more in the in the, in the late afternoon. It looks so nice. Here. Yeah, it's Look so... And more painting. It's so beautiful. So you have like different sections of the VIP and you have different tables, um, like a whole buffet section. And depending on which table you are, you also have catering to the, to, the ta to the table. So it kind of depends. That's why everyone also has like different colored wristbands based on where you are. Um, but yeah, the whole point is just to chill out here, relax, eat something nice, be with like a nice group of friends at the table and just enjoy the class. You know what I always say, it's like the best lunch view yeah. or dinner view you can have. It's like yeah. sitting in a restaurant but also... And then it's in Paris. Yeah. My show and I will be coming tonight here with the spotlight on this backdrop. Yeah. Sorry. But that's something that you have to, you have to like keep in mind is that like you have audiences from all different directions. So it's not like you just do the show facing here. You have to do the show towards every spectator. So you're not making so. it better for me right now? No, that's something to keep in mind. Oh, look at this little lamb. Yeah. Oh, the good days here's to the sorrows if this is a mistake i know about tomorrow i don't want 
wanna fight no more cuz I don't feel They had a good round. Okay. <laughs> we just <laughs> We're just going to go to Macho, give him one last walk, then I want to freshen myself up for the show. Uh, but the next rider is in already, so I think we're going to Oh, it's actually Ben Mayer. He's a really good rider. So uh, we're going to watch him and then going to give Macho a little grace. And it's time soon in a few hours for the next and the last show and it's crazy because we've been like working towards this for a long time so then it's all over but we're first gonna enjoy that's the goal of today to really really enjoy the show can we wait here's started And there, for example, is one place to wash the horses. We have some other places where that's possible as well. But because most of the horses are quite scared of the ponies, we might turn around here. So we don't have anyone scared of much. <laughs> Come on, March. Oh, good boy. Are you going to try your best again? One and a half hours to go till the last show. And we decided, as I said, to just enjoy it. And I think it's going to go okay as well. I'm just gonna enjoy it because this is a moment we waited for for a very long time and now it's here, so it's going to be good. It's going to be good. Watch, you hear that? <laughs> had a really good feeling it was way more enthusiastic and look at this view sorry it's a party happening i just want to really take it in and be very very grateful we are gonna have to go to another event um so we have to hurry quickly now then much sure will go home be in the field and the other horses will go to that event but i'm super super grateful very proud of him and we had a really good time and look at this let's just take it in one more time 